Hello everyone, welcome to another video and this will be a quick guide on how to downgrade or how to roll back the next gen update for Fallout 4. Maybe you have noticed but Fallout 4 has been updated for the first time in 5 years and that literally ruined the modding scene. The next gen uh, update has destroyed many mods changed the coding from, from what i gathered uh, to the point where many mods are no longer compatible with fallout 4 and it made uh, fallout 4 script extender basically obsolete for the current time uh, so until at least fallout 4 script extender will be updated here is a quick guide that i found online how to revert that update on steam you have to follow the instructions carefully because otherwise you will have errors, missing textures and things like that. So let's get to it. Okay, so this is a small guide that I found online for Steam users by Roxas Brandon. What he says here is what you need to do essentially is to find the Steam Depot. Depots are versions of the game that are stored on Steam. You don't have any access to them uh, regularly, but you can use the Steam console if you want to access them and download them. And then you can simply download the files from the previous version, replace them with the files that you currently have in the game, uh, and also do a small thing that will prevent the game from updating itself the moment you start it, and then you will be able to play with Fallout 4 in the previous version. What you need to do is this. First, you need to go to here to search, run, and then as you can see, it says Steam Open Console. You do that. Steam opens up. If you have a pin code, then type it. And now you see we are in console mode. Uh, let's scroll down. What you need to do, I'm going to highlight this. What you need to do is do, you need to highlight this, what I've just highlighted. Copy and paste into the Steam console. Enter. And then you will see in a moment, there, he started downloading Depot 377161. You have 377161, 377162, and 377163. These, if you have the, uh, the DLCs like Automaton or uh, Steam Workshop or the Wasteland Workshop, uh, DLC is for Fallout 4, then you also need these two and download them all and they will be downloading to here. Local disk, program files, uh, Steam, Steam apps, content and as you can see in content I now have app 377160 with uh, 377 Depot 161 in it and if I downloaded more of them then there will be more of them here to uh, download. There are also localization depots if you need any. Personally I did not use them so it's up to you if you want to use them if you're not using English. Uh, okay, so now what you need to do is find your Steam Fallout 4 installation. Go and tell him to update only when I launch the game. Let me zoom in a little bit so that you can see. It tells you to go into the Fallout 4, uh, press right mouse, updates, update only when I launch the game. And then in the install files, you go to the install files of the game. You go down and into, right. Go back to folders to the Fallout root. This means Steam library, Steam apps. So it means from Fallout 4 to Steam apps, then find 
App Manifest 377. There. App 377-160-ACF. Right-click Properties. And tell it to be read only. So it cannot be updated. It can only be read and not written. Uh, apply. OK. This is what it's talking about right now. You can see the 377-160. Read only. Apply. OK. Now, navigate back to your localization where the depots were downloaded in step four. Uh, Yeah, now you need to simply copy and paste all of the content from, say, here. You can see the depot is actually the Fallout Mesh and Sounds BA2 and videos. Each one of those depots is essentially a different part of the game. So keep that in mind. What he says here is something you keep your mind on or something to... Uh, pay attention to, sorry, is that both 377.161 and 377.163 contain the Fallout 4 meshes. So, what you need to do is place 377.161, copy this one first into the Fallout 4 game directory, and then copy 377.163, and he will ask you to uh, overwrite the Fallout 4 meshes, and that's okay. So that's what you need to do, okay? So if you're copying them all and you're copying uh, 163 after 161 and it tells you uh, there's this file that you need to overwrite, click OK and do it. Here, you can see the destination also already has the file name, replace in the file destination. Now, what you need to do is go and check all of your uh, PC, all of the files starting with CC in uh, the data. Mm. I don't think I have those because I've deleted them. What you need to do is go to the data folder and search for anything with a CC in the beginning. Oh, there they are. So what you need to do is essentially delete all of these. These are the creation club, uh, creation club uh, items. If you bought any, then I'm sorry, they need to go because they were updated and you will experience crashes. Maybe this is also why I experienced crashes, because I didn't do it. But you can see this is the entire list. Data, CC, you have all of these that starts with Hellfire Armor ESL and ends with Grenade ESL. And you have another one in Fallout 4 ID CCC, which is in the main folder right next to the Fallout 4 executable. Delete all of these, and then if you try to run the game, then you will see that your uh, version is 110.163. So it's not 110.63, uh, it's 110.163. Sorry. So, anyways, you will also be seeing this online service is currently disabled, game update required to connect to Bethesda. You don't need to connect to Bethesda, trust me. Anyways, so this is the entire tutorial how to do it. You must, and I say that you must be uh, patient with your downloads. Why? Because if I'm not mistaken, 163, let me go backtrack to it. Mm, a little bit more, yeah. 163 is a very large download. Now, if you try to go in before it finished, then you will see some files, but you should be, you need to, sorry, let it finish downloading. Otherwise, it will miss the Steam API uh, DLL file, which will 
make you which will create a, um, a steam steam player not found in dynamic lab library crash and the game will not run so be patient let everything download to its fullest in the steam console it will tell you download complete and only then drag the uh, files from the depot uh, from the depot folder into your main folder but if you do this correctly then what you should be getting is this okay so as you can see the game is running you can see the version with fallout 4 script extender script extender and below and version 110163 this is what you want to have fallout updates it says that online service is currently disabled game uh, update required to connect to bethesda net you do not need this trust me and i just want to use this media to say the following fuck todd howard fuck bethesda you greedy lazy bastards you screwed up fallout 4 you screwed up fallout 76 it took you five years to fix Fallout 76. You screwed up uh, Starfield. That game, you... Uh, no Man's Sky is a better game than Starfield. No Man's Sky is a much more exploration-orientated, limitless freedom type of game that a small indie developer, quite smaller than Bethesda, managed to do that Bethesda couldn't. And now you screwed up the Fallout 4 update that took you five years to build. I don't know what else to say. I, I really don't. Just go work on Fallout 5 or something. Do something productive for a change, goddammit. Anyways, this has been the rant. Uh, I hope this tutorial will help you play Fallout 4 this weekend the way you want, with the mods you like and tell me in the comments if it worked and if it not then i'll try to help you any way i can and i will see you in the next video